My name is Marty Malloy and I am from Oak Harbor, Washington, which is a city on Whidbey Island. I started judo when I was six years old and my home dojo is called Naval Air Station Whidbey Island Judo Club, which is basically a judo club that um, started up on a naval air base. I know that I did what my coach told me to do, which was this one, two, three sequence where you bow, you grip, and then you just throw your opponent. And I won all my matches like that in like under five seconds. So I don't specifically remember how it felt, but I remember being really happy afterwards. <laughs> I think I've won about f maybe four gold medals like as a national champion. Um, for years, I got just a bronze or a silver medal, and I always wanted to get a gold. So um, I think. I haven't lost in the Nationals in about five years or so, so it feels really good. As a junior, I won tons of Junior National medals. Um, there were like three Junior Nationals every summer and I would go to every single one my entire um, childhood, so I probably have 20 or more uh, Junior National medals. The transfer from national competition like in the United States to um, fighting internationally for me was really hard. It was also kind of a reality check because I was used to being the winner, you know, or at least coming home from every tournament with a medal. And then when I started competing internationally, um, I was coming home empty handed all the time. And it was hard to take, but um, it also made me work a lot harder. Uh, there was a time where I, I didn't do very well at all. And then slowly over the years, I started winning a few more matches, winning a few more matches. And before I knew it, I was winning medals too. Um, so I started doing judo um, in Whidbey Island from my whole childhood and then I branched off to other dojos as I got older um, and then when I became a teenager and graduated high school um, I moved to San Jose State where I've been training for about eight years now. I was a student at San Jose State for four or five years. Um, after I graduated I became an assistant coach. I like being a student and an athlete. Um, obviously you know I'm not doing what I think a lot of the kids in my classes were doing, which was just going to class and then going to sleep and then kind of going to party sometimes. I, I always had to keep a strict schedule. You know, I had judo training in the morning and classes all day and then judo training at night. So, I mean, it forced me to be really diligent in my studies so that I could give judo as much attention as I wanted to. My short-term goal, which is kind of, I guess, a long-term goal, is to become a world champion this year, the World Championships in Brazil in August. Um, Long term, obviously, I would, I would like to get another medal at the 2016 Olympics, also in Brazil. When I was about nine or ten years old, I met Mike Swain, who is coincidentally a coach of mine at San Jose State now, and he had just recently become a world champion, and he was going around um, to different judo clubs showing his judo and talking about what it was like to compete on the world stage. And I was, I was completely inspired by him, and it opened up a whole new world of what I could do in the, for myself in judo and um, I decided then I wanted to like go to the Olympic level, do the best I could. If I were to give advice to a girl starting judo now who wanted to become an Olympian one day, I would say more than anything to not get discouraged when you lose and you know when things don't work out the way you want or you're having a tough time in training because judo is a very tough sport to be good at and you, you cannot always win. No one always wins. So. As long as you work through those losses and find out what you can do to become better, uh, you know, you'll always be on top.